sketching square root functions. So if we're given a function y equals f of x, we want to be able to sketch the function y equals the square root of f of x. And these are all just, again, going to depend on y values. And some important things to note is that the square root of 0 equals 0. The square root of 1 also equals 1. The square root of a number less than 1, let's say 0 0.9, is roughly, roughly 0 0.94. So it ends up being bigger than the original number, as long as if, so if this is if it's less than 1. But if a number is greater than 1, let's say 1 1.2, that's roughly equal to 1.095. So this is a number greater than 1. So the number ends up being smaller, which is pretty obvious. So for example, root 9 obviously ends up being 3. It's a smaller number than 9. But the tricky part is when the number is in between 0 and 1, it ends up being bigger than the original number. And hopefully that's going to help us when we go to graph some of these or sketch some of these. So let's look at a simple example where we have f of x equals x plus 1. It's just a straight line going through 1. And now we want to graph the square root of that function, let's say g of x equals root x plus 1. Now what's important to note as well is that the square root of a function always has to be positive. Like the number inside always has to be positive. So all the y values that are negative, we can just disregard for our square root function. So anything below the x-axis, uh, we don't even have to consider. So let's mark out some important points or some important things. So here we have y equals zero and the square root of zero is just zero. So we know our curve is going to start there. Here we have y equals 1, and the square root of 1 is 1, so the curve also goes through there. All of these y values are in between 0 and 1, and we know that if we have a y value in between 0 and 1, our square root function is going to be above that graph. So we're expecting something like this because all those y values are above that graph. And then all of these values are greater than 1, and we know for values of greater than 1, the square root function has values less than those values. So we're expecting the graph to do something like that. And that ends up being the sketch of the square root of x plus 1. Let's look at another example. f of x equals 1 over x minus 2 plus 2. So let's sketch this. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2, because we've shifted the function up by 2. And because our hyperbola is positive, we're going to get in the first and third quadrant. Anything below the x-axis we can disregard, so all of this part here, can be disregarded for the square root function because that's the function we want to sketch. So we want to sketch some function g of x where it's just equal to root f of x. And yeah, we can note some important things down. So this is a y value of 0, so we know the curve is also going through there. We know 2 is up here, so at, well, we can find the 
we can find the y-intercept by just making x equal to 0, and that ends up being 3 on 2, which is 1 and a half. So y equals 1 is somewhere below here. Let's say it's about there, and we know the graph will also go through there, which means all of these y values are in between 0 and 1, so the graph should be above those values. Which means all of these are above 1, and the, our, our reciprocal function will be below those values. So we get something like that for that portion there. All of these y values are above 1, which means our which means our square root function needs to be always below all of these values. So we can draw our graph in under it, like so. And that'll be the square root of f of x. Thank you.